Well, I often hear people's story. I hear about what's going on in their life and I bet that happens to you too. People will tell you about what's going on. And just when maybe you think you have some advice for them, they give you a new detail that you had that you didn't know. A new detail that makes what was already complicated and complex even that much more complicated. And you're sitting there wondering, what can I even say except for I'm sorry? I don't know what to tell you. I don't know. Are you asking for my advice? I don't know because I don't know what to do. And so here's, here's what I often will do is I'll say, can, can we just pray? Can we invite the Holy Spirit to, to be here and to provide guidance? And so I want to do that today. So I'm going to actually in, say, come Holy Spirit, and I'm going to be quiet. And you're going to wonder if this devotional is broken. You're going to wonder if you sh are, should fill it with words. And I'm just going to encourage you to not. And so we're going to ask the Holy Spirit to come and to speak. And to speak about you, about your life, and about what it is that he's calling you to do. So let's do that now. Holy Spirit, we ask you to come, to be here right now. Holy Spirit, we ask that throughout our day today, as we continue on in our lives, that we're guided by you, that we surrender to the flow, and that we just invite you in to help guide us, and that as we receive guidance from you, that we follow, that we have the courage to do what you're asking us to do. It's in your name we pray. Amen. Well, in Luke 4, Satan is tempting Jesus. He's tempting him with all the same things that we're tempted by. Fame and glory, food. And after it, spoiler alert, Jesus does not get tempted. He does not submit to the temptation and the devil departs. And so we're going to pick up in Luke 4, 14. It's right after the devil departs. The devil says he's to come back at, a, at an opportune time. Which, by the way, if you ever feel like God, uh, the devil is, is, is right in front. And he's pushing. He's distracting. He's doing all kinds of things. Um, and he departs. Just know he's waiting for an opportune time to come back. But here's what it says in Luke 4, 14. And Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit. To Galilee. That's capital S, Spirit, Holy Spirit. And Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit to Galilee, and a report about him went out through all the surrounding country. You see, Jesus, after this moment, is more abundantly strengthened, and he's ready. He's ready to go all in on his ministry. See, the Holy Spirit came and strengthened Jesus and helped guide him exactly to where he was to go to next. And this is when Jesus' ministry takes off. And so if Jesus needed the Holy Spirit to strengthen, strengthen him, I do believe we need the Holy Spirit a little bit as well. And I believe that the Holy Spirit has the power to strengthen and guide if we just surrender to the flow. If we just allow and invite him in and say, come Holy Spirit, teach me. Come Holy Spirit, guide me. Be my compass throughout all my day and especially my compass through things that are challenging and complex in my life. Galatians 5, to 23 kind of lays out the fruit of surrendering to the flow of the Spirit. It says, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, 
faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. So there's another good reason to surrender to that flow, because um, of all those words, I could benefit from a little bit of all of them. A little bit of love, a little bit of joy, a little bit of goodness could only benefit my life. So today, as you go day to day, throughout your day, invite the Holy Spirit to just be part of the conversations about the God and just help him, invite him to guide you. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you that Jesus lived his life in the power of the Holy Spirit as a perfect example of, of how we should live. And God, I ask that for me, and for others that we surrender to the flow and we invite the Holy Spirit to help guide us, that we invite him in to all parts of our life. We, we ask for wisdom and courage and we ask for uh, exactly what the action it, uh, it is that you'd have us take, Lord. We ask all that in your name. Amen.